If you need to hide line work in your drawing, you can try using what's called a wipeout. The wipeout command creates well, a wipeout object. This type of object hides what's behind it. Let's open up the annotation drawing. Here we have some line work. On this page we have some notes and some dimensions. Let's just go to the blank page. All right, let's say that we need to hide some things, a few chairs or the doorway or something. Well, we can create a wipeout. Just type in the word wipeout to start the command or come to the markup panel on the annotate tab on the ribbon and click wipeout. You pick your first point, your second point, and it's making a polygon. You can make it any shape you want. Once you're finished, press enter. And there you go. It's its own object. You can see it here in the properties tool palette. And it's essentially it. It creates an object that blocks everything behind it. So now I can put in text. Or whatever I need to. If you have a closed polygon of any shape, could be a polyline. You can convert it to a wipeout frame. Just start the wipeout command, then type P for polyline. Then select it. You can pick to either erase or not erase the polyline. I say erase it, otherwise your polyline is going to be there and you'll have to deal with that. And there you go. This is a way to block out text or line work or something that you don't want to see. Now that we have our wipeouts, and you can delete the polyline when you create it or you can leave it there. And we also see here that there's a frame that's around it. Start the wipeout command again. There are two options, frames and polyline. The polyline we used already, we selected a polyline that's closed to use as the definition for our wipeout frame. Frames will turn them off or on. You have three settings, on, off, or display but not plot. If you turn it on, this is the way it looks. And when you print your drawing, it's going to have this outline on your drawing. If that's okay with you, then go ahead and do it. If you start the wipeout command again, go to frames, and click off. This is exactly what the drawing is going to look like when you print it out. The problem with this is that you don't know it's here. You can't really hover over it to find it, but you can do a crossing window to find it. But if you were to open up this drawing just the way it is, say that one wasn't there, you would really not have any idea that there was a wipe out there at all until you use the crossing window to find it. So that can get you into some trouble, so be careful with that. The other setting for frames for the wipeouts that you have is display but not plot. This will show you the frame. This will let you know there's a wipeout there, but it won't print out. That's pretty useful. If you're going to use wipeouts, I suggest that you use the frame setting, what's called a set to two, or display without Printing. You can type in wipeout frame and you can get to this system variable that controls that. Right now it's set to 2. If you set it to 0, that's off. Set it to 1 is on but will plot. Set to 2 will be on but won't plot. So just keep these things in mind. If you want to mask an area behind the text or block it out, I suggest that you use the background mask. Click Use Background Mask. Set the setting to something about 1.1 and use the drawing background color. That will mask the text, but it won't create another object that you have to worry about and have to maintain. Because if I do something like this, my wipeout might be in the wrong place. Here's the text. You may have to use what's called a draw order. Type in DR, press Enter, and then click Front that will bring it sort of to the top of the list. 
anything else is behind it or below it. It doesn't change an actual elevation or anything. It just moves things backwards, sort of like layering a stack of paper. So if you have the wipeout, you'll have to make sure you're aware that it's there and it will have to be maintained. I've seen a lot of drawings that have had holes in them when printed that nobody could explain until we set the wipeout frames to one or two and then we saw it and we're like, oh, there's a wipeout there. So just be careful and be cautious, but they can be very useful.